Okay, so one of the questions on the first quiz in this chapter three asked us to use your calculator to find the derivative of a function at a specific value. And I'm going to show you two, two ways to do this with your calculator. Um, and, and both of these are legal on the AP test. Uh, this, in fact, this is one of the four things that you're going to be able to use your calculator for in the AP test. Um, so suppose I've got this awful function, awful looking function. It honestly isn't too bad to find the derivative of by hand, but right now, uh, after just the first lesson, you don't know how to do that. So, um, but you do know how to use this definition of the derivative in order how to come up with it, come up with it. But even to substitute this function into that limit expression would be kind of a, a, you know, difficult to do. So, um, so what basically what I'm going to do is I'm trying to use my calculator to find the derivative of this function at x equals two. So what I'm going to do is on y one on y y equals I'm going to type in the function that they want they want me to work with. In fact, then I'm going to turn it off because I really don't want to see that function or use that function. I really only want to work with this derivative expression. So then in my in y two what I did is here. Let me clear this out so you can see what. So the way you get access other functions and and to graph, if you press the vars button, the y vars button, then function one. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just going to use function notation. The x that I'm concerned about is two because that's where they want me to find the find the derivative at. So I'm going to do two plus. I can't use h in the calculator, but I can use x. Okay. In fact, I missed a parenthesis because what I want to do is I want to make sure this is all locked up. Now, maybe with a newer model, you know, new operating system, you might have that math type available and it'll look a little bit different. You'll be able to actually put in a fraction, but it's the same kind of idea. You're going to do y1 of 2 plus h, because I'm, I'm trying to evaluate it at 2, minus f of 2, because that's my x. So I'm going to do vars y bars function one of two. I'm going to close that parenthesis. I'm going to make sure I match up enough parentheses. So there, that's encapsulated there. The two's encapsulated there. And then I want to take the whole thing and divide it by x. That's like dividing by h. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the calculator take this limit as h or x goes to zero. And the way you do that, you see over, if you press second window, that gets you into this uh, table setup. I'm going to do my table start at zero. And then I'm going to have a really small change in table. I mean, I'm going to go like one ten thousandth. And then what I'm going to do is second table. And then you can see either side of zero. See, I'm letting, I'm letting x go to zero, h go to zero. From the left, the limit is approaching negative 4.846. From the right, it's negative 0.684. So maybe negative 0.845, uh, you know, would have to do, we could do more decimal places, but that would be a pretty good limit. And certainly for a multiple choice question, I'm sure you could find the answer. So that's using the definition of derivative on our calculator. Now, I'm going to show you this even though the videos haven't yet. Uh, our calculator does this built in, and, and this is one of the four things you can do. Um, remember, I have the function that I want in y1. You can also just type this in, so I'm going to sh I could show you that too. So what I'm going to do is you press math, then choice 8. I'm just going to type in 8, but it's down there. And you get n derivative, and now on the newer operating systems, um, you're going to ask. It looks. It looks like a. It looks a little different. It looks like a. It looks like you're finding dy dx, and and you, you'll be able to figure it out pretty easily. Um, but what I'm going to do in this mode is I'm just going to press vars, y vars, function one because I put that equation in y one. I don't want to have to type it again. Now you're going to take the derivative with respect to x. You're going to tell the calculator what you want to take the derivative of. Now I've got my equation defined based on x, right? So that's why I said um, I'm using with respect to x. 
And then the number I want the derivative of is two, add, add is two, and I press enter, and there's that negative 0.843. Remember on the AP Calc test, they want three decimal places. So that would be uh, a better estimate of what the derivative is. So that's using your numerical derivatives to on your calculator to use a numerical derivative to find a derivative of a function at a point. And I hope that helps you do this.